CSET Subtest 1, Section 1.2b, Constructor Response Inside Question Number 1. Now, reading this question through, we see that we're given for the quadratic two roots. So root 1 is negative 2 thirds, and root 2 is 4, and we're also given a y intercept. So there are two different forms that should come to mind. We have y equals a x minus r1, x minus r2, that's our root form, as you'll recall. And we can also use y equals ax squared plus bx plus c, our standard form. I'm going to go ahead and solve this question both ways, and you go ahead and choose which way you prefer. Now, this is our root form, and this is our standard form. Well, right away, we can plug in for the roots here, and over here we can plug in for the c value. Let's go ahead and do that now. X minus the two roots with A out front. Since it's a constructive response question, I'm going to go ahead and show the extra step. Over here, we would automatically know the y-intercept is minus 8. So we would have ax squared plus bx minus 8. Notice that we still don't know what A and B are. What we can do, though, is the sum and product rule of roots. So when we add these two roots together, the negative 2 thirds and 4, you get the opposite of B over A. That is a flashcard idea. So we have two flashcards. This is our first one, and we're going to have our second one right down there. When we multiply the two roots together, what we get is C over A. So, over here, we have not yet used our third point. We've already plugged in for our two roots, but we haven't yet used this y-intercept idea. Now, we know that we can plug in the point 0, comma, negative 8. And we can go ahead and just plug it in right now, in fact. You could multiply this out first and then plug it in, but I'm just going to go ahead and plug in x is 0 right now and solve it out for a. So we have negative 8 equals a times Let's just say that we leave this for right now for part A. What we'll see with part B is when we're trying to find the points of intersection, we're going to need to convert this form anyways. So we'll go ahead and say this is done for part A. Looking back for this root form, we would need to have some words in here, right? We would need to state that this is one of the forms of a quadratic, right? So we would say the root form of a quadratic is y equals a quantity x minus r1 times x minus r2. 
Now, essentially we are substituting in our in our roots, comma, y equals. So we're just kind of putting in a couple words to show the math that we've already done. Remember I left this off to the side. The reason for that is I want to kind of remind myself that I ne needed to explain what we're doing here with a couple of words. So, essentially we're doing another substitution, right? To solve for A. Right? And this is what we're doing now. Once we've solved for A, we plug it back into the final form. Alright, over here, what we can do with these two ideas is adding the two roots together. I'm going to leave a little bit of space here. Adding the two roots together, we get negative two-thirds plus four, which is twelve-thirds, obtaining ten-thirds, and that's the opposite of b over a. And when we multiply the two roots together, we should get c over a. We already know, recall, that c equals negative a. And when we multiply negative two-thirds times four, we get negative eight-thirds. Solve this out for a is three. Now, once we know that a is three, we already know that c is negative eight because that represents our y-intercept in standard form, all that's left is to solve for b. We now know that a is 3, so we're going to plug this piece of info right in there and get 10 over 3 equals negative b over a, which is now 3. Canceling out 3's and we get b is negative 10. So writing this final form out, we have y equals 3x squared minus 10x minus 8 as our final form. Over here, if we multiply this out, we will obtain a simultaneous result, or an equivalent value, we could say. Now, putting in a couple of words here, what we would do as well is state, you know, this is the standard form of a quadratic. Explaining this away, we would have to put in some words explaining that, you know, C is the y-intercept always, and 0, comma, negative 8 is the y-intercept. Alright, we have some flashcard stuff. Again, I want to highlight this. Two things for flashcards here. This is the first one, and this is the second one. They are most useful when we are working with complex roots. However, it can still be done for any kind of real root question. That's why I show you kind of this as a uh, preface or kind of taste of wow, what's to come. Alright?